The line is super short, and he's actually coming right now. <laughs> <They're good. laughs> I love you! <laughs> I noticed that some of the cast members were wearing pin lanyards again. Wow, she's beautiful. Look at her in the sunlight. They have a gnome topiary in Germany. <laughs> oh my gosh. How can you not love the Canada Pavilion? It's gonna make me cry, that's how cute it is. If I died in this corner, I would die happy because I have a violet lemonade and a grilled street corn on the cob. Hey guys, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Why did I have the urge to say that? Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today is my day off, so I'm going to spend it at Epcot, and I'm so excited! Today, we're going to be going to Epcot to explore the Flower and Garden Festival. This festival is like the epitome of springtime because they have topiaries of all the Disney characters up. They also just have like a whole bunch more flowers planted all around the park, and all of their food booths are kind of themed to like fresh ingredients from the garden, and it's just so much fun. Also, the weather has been incredible in Florida. It hasn't been crazy hot. It's been in like the 70s. But yeah, this is like my one day off. It's so weird because Disney scheduled me to work yesterday and then they scheduled me to work tomorrow, but not today. So it's quite literally my only day off. So we're gonna make the most of it. Let's go to Epcot. into Epcot. I don't know if I just came in with the post-morning crowd or what, but it was super busy getting into the park, but now we're here. Something that's different from last year's festival is the topiary up at the front. So instead of it being the Encanto topiary, there's actually a wish topiary with Asha and... What is the sheep's name? Valentino, Valentino. So it's Asha, Valentino, and the star, which is so cool. I actually have not seen Wish yet, which is kind of a crime, I know, but it just was released on Disney Plus, so maybe I'll do that when I get home. I actually really wanted to meet Minnie Mouse because we're both wearing red, but the line is kind of crazy. Maybe it'll go by fast. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna get in line to meet Minnie Mouse because I rarely ever meet Minnie Mouse and hopefully the line goes by fast. So yeah, let's go. So I just met Minnie Mouse, she was so sweet. She asked me about my bracelet. I'm surprised she didn't comment on Mickey, the love of her life, on my hat. Right now, I hopped in line for Goofy because as you know, he is my favorite. The line is super short, and he's actually coming right now. <laughs> There's Goofy. <laughs> Look at him, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna get in line, okay? Right over here. <laughs> I love you. meeting Goofy and oh my gosh that was like the best moment of my life I love Goofy so much you guys have to understand why he's my favorite right he's Goofy like he's incredible every interaction I have with Goofy is like 10 out of 10 so when I was in line for Goofy and Minnie I noticed that some of the cast members were wearing pin lanyards again before pin trading used to be at certain merchandise locations but now all cast members are able to wear their own lanyard and trade their own pins which is so cool good for me because I actually brought my pins to the park today these are my little trader pins oh my god it's Goofy and Minnie I literally just met them how perfect. I'm gonna go around the park and see if I can find any pins that I do want to trade and I'll keep you posted if I do. I already end up trading a couple of pins in the stores under the Epcot ball. I'll show you, they're actually so funny. First, I got this little figment guy. It doesn't even look like Figment. I don't know what he is, but I thought he was so funny so I had to trade him. And then I also got this little goofy popsicle. 
How cute. So those are the pins that I have so far. While I was in the pin trading store, the cast member in there told me that it's actually the very first day where cast members are carrying around their own pins and he was so sweet. Oh my gosh, I should have gotten his name. I have to go back and get his name, but he drew me this little map that has all of the different pin boards in Epcot on it. He told me all of the stores that are circled and all of the countries will have their own pin board. So I'm gonna keep this with me. Thank you to that cast member, you are incredible. So I made my way over by the Groot Topiary, which is actually one of the newest ones here at the festival. It is brand new to this year, and it is so cool because it actually plays music. I think it's the only topiary that does that. It's really cool because the little cogs in the tape that he's holding actually turn. I think I have it in the B-roll, but they have since stopped. While I'm over in this area, I actually wanted to go on Test Track because Test Track will be closing at the end of this month for a huge refurbishment. I haven't been on Test Track in a while, and now that it's closing for this refurbishment, I will probably not be able to go on it for a longer while. So I'm gonna get on it now. Let's go on test track. After test track, I got a little bit hungry, so I came over to the Honey Bistro. The Honey Bistro is one of the festival booths here for Flower and Garden. It's honestly one of my favorite booths ever. They actually used to have my favorite Flower and Garden festival food of all time. However, they did change their menu. So my favorite thing was the honey mustard chicken flatbread, but they no longer have that. They actually got rid of it last year. This year they replaced it with something new and something that looks so good. So they replaced it with chicken and waffles. My mouth is watering because I'm staring at it right now, but it's a cornbread waffle with chicken and hot honey and honey butter. Oh my God. It sounds like it's giving my favorite festival food a run for its money. Wow. She's beautiful. Look at her in the sunlight. All of that honey dripping off. Delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get a piece of the chicken and a piece of the waffle all in one go, but we'll see how that goes. So here's my bite. I have waffle, I have chicken. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I can't get over how nice it is outside. Like it's not super hot, which is great because Florida, it's always super hot. Like it's the default that it's hot in Florida. But today is like high of 79. And not only is it super nice temperature wise, but obviously it is so sunny out and everything just looks beautiful with the sun out. Like all the topiaries and all the flowers. Today is beautiful. It's like the perfect day. I'm gonna eat my chicken and waffles and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done. Okay, so I finished up my chicken and waffles. It was pretty good. After eating it, I still 10 out of 10 recommend. However, the one critique I have is that I wish the waffle was a little bit more sweet. The waffle was like super savory, which I was not expecting. And if it was like a sweet cornbread waffle, oh my God, it would have been incredible. Not saying it wasn't. I still ate almost all of it, so. Now that I'm nice and full, I am going to take a stroll around the World Showcase since I haven't popped over there yet, but they have a couple of new topiaries that I'm excited to see. The first thing is the Encanto topiary that used to be at the front of the park is now at the front of the World Showcase. It replaced that gigantic Goofy that they randomly had last year. The two new topiaries that I'm excited to see is they have a Miguel one over in Mexico and they have gnomes. They have a gnome topiary in Germany. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I have quite a gnome obsession it's like really bad. I'm like an old lady that collects gnomes. I'm very excited to see the gnomes in Germany. So let's head around the world showcase. So 
I made it halfway around the World Showcase and now I'm in the Japan Pavilion. The drummers are actually going on the stage right now. You can probably hear them. They are one of my favorite entertainment offerings here at Epcot. They are so cool because I know some of them have been doing this for years and years and years. So it's really cool that they're sharing um, this part of their culture with all of Epcot. So I came into the Japan Pavilion because I wanted to try one of the Flower and Garden staples, which is Frushi. If you guys haven't heard of it, Frushi is kind of a mix of fruit and sushi. This is what it looks like. So I've actually never tried the Frushi before. It's always kind of like freaked me out and I don't know why because I love fruit and I love sushi. So I should love Frushi, but like, I just don't know. We're gonna try it. I'm just gonna eat it with my hands. I don't have a fork. Cheers. in my mouth the flavors were delicious and then when I continued to chew it not as delicious I expected the rice to be sweet sticky rice but I feel like it's just normal rice and it doesn't really go super well with the fruit I wanted to like the frushi so so bad because I know so many people do like it but I also know it's a hit or miss and unfortunately it has been a miss for me that doesn't mean you shouldn't try it definitely try it see if you like it or not and let me know in the comments down below because I'm kind of sad. I'm really sad I don't like it. It's not like I'm a picky eater. I normally like everything that I eat, but just not the frushi. So I'm gonna continue around the world showcase. I've been pin trading. I've been looking at all of the topiaries. I made some really cool pin trades that I'm excited to show you, but I'm gonna wait till I finish my round first. pavilion out of all of them in the world showcase because it is so beautiful like okay well there's a whole waterfall back there oh my gosh how can you not love the Canada pavilion I don't know I made it all the way around the world showcase I tried to pin trade in every country and I tried to find the topiaries in every country so you'll see all of them in the fee roll since I'm here I wanted to show you guys all of the pins that I got while trading around the world showcase so here is my little pin thing now a little bit different from when you saw it last oh I also forgot to mention that this little pin board and my trader pins were given to me by Chelsea so thank you Chelsea she has gotten me into pin trading since going around the world showcase I added this piglet one I got this goofy one I got this Ray one and just you wait look at this pin that I traded for in the America pavilion oh my gosh when I saw this Encanto pin on the pin board, I was like, this is not real life. Can you believe that that was on a pin board? I couldn't. I got it so fast. I traded it so fast. I am so surprised that the family in front of me did not take it. Now it's mine. Other than pin trading, I did make a purchase when I was going around the World Showcase. I have been very frugal lately, but I saw this bag and I felt like I needed it. You might not know this about me. I don't think I've ever mentioned this in a vlog before, but I am a tote bag hoarder. Like I love tote bags. I have so many tote bags and I only ever use like two, the two that are my favorite, but I found this tote bag in the China Pavilion. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's a little panda and it has ears. I found this in the China Pavilion and it was like $13, a steal. It's gonna make me cry, that's how cute it is. I can't get over how good of a day today is. I'm like so happy. Me and my panda are so happy. Let's see what I get up to next.
So I made my way over to World Nature over by Moana's Journey of Water. I really want to go in and show you guys all of the hidden characters everywhere and my favorite things to do while I'm walking through. If you guys don't know, Moana's Journey of Water is one of the newest attractions here at Epcot. It's a walkthrough water attraction where you have the option of getting wet or not, but it kind of teaches you about the water cycle, which is so cool. But yeah, let's pop on in. I'm going to show you some of my favorite parts of the attraction because I love it because you guys know I love Moana. We're done with Moana's Journey of Water. That was so much fun, oh my gosh. I don't think I'll ever get over how beautiful that attraction is. I think the Imagineers did a great job bringing all of like the elements of the movie in there. I had a blast even though I was in there alone. It was also really cool to see how much fun all the little kids were having while walking through the attraction because it is so interactive. I tried to show you guys some of the hidden characters that they have throughout the attraction, but I tried to make it not too obvious as to where they are so you guys can go in and try and find them yourself. I also went to a couple more stores and did some more pin trading so I want to show you guys the two new pins that I traded for. I got another goofy pin, there he is, and then I got this one, the Chernabog one, which I think is so cool and I got it because he reminds me of Fantasmic. So yeah, those are my two new pins that I just traded for. So it's been a little bit since I had the chicken and waffles earlier, so I'm going to pop back over to the World Showcase and try to find some more snacks to eat from the festival. Hey guys, so I'm currently in the corner on the ground because this is the only place that I could find shade. This is my current situation. I'm literally in the corner, even though I'm here on the floor. My view is beautiful. Wow, look at that. The world showcase and a trash can. I grabbed two of my favorite things that they have here at the festival. I have the iconic violet lemonade. Ooh, ah, beautiful. Look at that. I also got the corn on the cob, iconic corn on the cob. This is called the grilled street corn on the cob and it is so good. I don't even know if it's worth doing a review because you guys already know they're both gonna be a 10 out of 10 recommend. If I died in this corner, I would die happy because I have a violet lemonade and a grilled street corn on the cob. That's how good this is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my food and drink and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, welcome to the outro. So I ended my day at Epcot just by doing one more little stroll around the World Showcase. It was a little hot girl walk. During my stroll, I ran into a lot of live music happening around the World Showcase. There was a band in Germany that I got in the B-roll, the concert series over in the American Pavilion was going on, and there was another band in Canada and the UK. So the vibes were immaculate during my little hot girl walk. I just wanna thank you guys so much, of course, for joining me on this little solo day it was so much fun it was so needed and that day was just beautiful it is so fun to be posting a little bit more regularly if you guys can't tell I've been aiming for about two videos a month and you guys definitely keep me motivated to do this just by leaving the most wonderful comments on here and on Instagram if you guys do want to follow me on Instagram I always have it linked down in the description but yeah that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you comment comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.